Hi everybody, I want to talk to you a little bit about paying attention to the crew when you're out fishing. I'm going to show you a little clip right now that we shot with Chris Randall aboard the Chief the other day. We're down in Colonet and we ended up getting into a really good bite of yellowtail. And on this trip, we didn't know if it's going to be strictly rockfish or if it's going to be yellowtail mixed in. But we got into some good yellowtail fishing. And this clip, I just want you to pay attention to what Chris tells the angler and what the angler does. And the whole point about you seeing this video is that if you pay attention and listen to the skipper, listen to the crew, you're going to catch a lot more fish. You're going to have more fun on the water. You're going to become a better angler. You're going to be more successful. It's all about listening to people that are on the water every day, like these crews are on all the different boats. I don't care if you're fishing in Southern California or fishing in New York or Louisiana. The guys that are on the boats every day, they know exactly what to do. They've been in all these different situations. They know what the tangles are going to be like. They know what the current, everything that's happening. So listen to them. That's why they're on the water every day. These are the people you're paying your money to go fishing with. Listen to them. You'll be more successeful. Let's take a look at this clip. Hello, Sea Lion. Well, we're still drifting along here, yo yoing. We got a handful of yellows on our first drift. We're having a little bit of a problem trying to get through these great big quality salmon grouper. They also like eating the yo-yo irons. The neat thing about where we're at, we're on a plateau about eight miles off the beach, and you can catch rockfish, link cod, reds, grouper, and yellowtail all at the same time. And this is just, we're just getting started here. And I think when the conditions improve, we get a little bit more current, I think the yellows are gonna bite. I meter them really good, but it is a condition type thing where if you're drifting like we are now to the southwest, when it goes to the south or the southeast, the yellow bite will improve. So stay tuned. Gotta go. That's definitely a yellowtail. If you look at the rod tip here, focus in, you'll see what we call the head thump. It'll, it'll do a thump, a thump, a thump. Watch those jigs. Oh, we got tangles. <laughs> All right, guys, step back. Step back for me. Right back here. Go straight back, straight back, straight back. Just wind in your slack, it's just nice and slow. I'm just gonna keep tension on your fish. This is the downside of fishing with a bunch of jigs. You get a few tangles. And what I'm doing right now, I'm just hand lining his fish in gently so that it keeps a tight pull on the fish and it can't spit the hook while we work on the tangles. One more, one more, whoa. Cut, 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 cut. Cut, cut, cut. cut. All right, you're free. Now we're gonna go to our next tangles. <laughs> Follow your lines, guys. Uh, I might be in that too. Yep. 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 All right. Thanks. So we're going to bring it up here. This is Doug. He caught this yellow fishing a jig. And Chris, why don't you explain a little bit what we're doing right now? Yeah, we're fishing off a colonnade in a high spot, the plateau, 30 to 40 fathoms. And it's a mixed area of all types of rockfish, including yellowtail. There's a lot of yellowtail on the meter right now. It's not biting real good, but this is, once again, it's conditions. Rockfish will bite in almost any condition of current. Yellowtail favors specific currents, and it could be a time of day thing. Yeah. That's why we're here all day. That's right. It's the right. beauty of a day and a half. Good job. Nice job. What's your number? 12. Number 12. Okay, we're going to take a little break from the action aboard the Chief and go to the tackle box and give you a good look at the gear we're using for today's trip. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video clip. I just wanted to show you how important it is to listen to the crew. That tangle that angler was in was really bad. He could have easily lost that fish. But thanks to the experience of Captain Chris Randall and his deckhand there standing next to him, they're able to cut the other lines, work the line. Chris actually helped the guy bring in that fish by hand, working that line so that there was no slack in the line, and they're able to get that fish. That's today's little tip or information is that pay attention. I don't care where you're fishing in the world, you know, if it's in the United States or somewhere else, listen to your crew. The guys are out there every day. They know what to do. They want you to have such a good time fishing that you're so successful and have such a great time that you can't come back. You can't wait to come back the next day or two. You know, that's why we're all in this business. We want you to be very successful. We want you to have lots of fun and we want to see you back without you coming back going fishing on my boat or my charters or any of the other boats out there that you go on. Everybody would be out of business and we need your support. And hopefully this is helping you catch more fish. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe right here and I'll talk to you again real soon.